Hello friends, this video on cubes and cube roots part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about cube roots, let's try a few questions. Question number 1. State true or false. Cube of any odd number is even. Well, that is absolutely false because if you look at any odd number, be it 1 cube, it is 1 which is odd. Whether it is 3 cube, it is 27 which is again odd if it is 5 cube it is 125 which is again odd so cube of any odd number is always odd so this is definitely false a perfect cube does not end with two zeros well that's true why because if we, if think of any example of a perfect cube which ends with two zeros for example 100 do you think 100 could be a perfect cube now when you have two zeros so it can never be a product of three same numbers. So 100 could be 10 into 10. So two numbers. So it could be a square, perfect square, but it cannot be a perfect cube. But when it comes to 1000, it can be a product of same three numbers with each number having one zero. So definitely a perfect cube can never have two zeros. A perfect cube will always have the number of zeros which are in multiples of threes. For example, it can have three zeros, it can have six zeros, it can have nine zeros, it can have 12 zeros. So the number of zeros must be in multiples of three because you need same number of zeros to be divided into three numbers because all the three numbers need to be the same. So this is true. Number three, if a square of a number ends with five, then its cube ends with 25. Well, a square of now any number ending with five, its square will end with five. Again, its cube will also end with five. But when you say that the cube would end with 25, so that's not really true. So this is a false statement because this is not necessarily true. Let me give you some examples. For example, 15 square is equal to 225 so square of 15 ends in 5 but when you find out 15 cube it is 3375 this also ends in 5 but not 25 so square of a number ending with 5 ends with 5 cube of a number ending with 5 also ends with 5 there is no perfect cube which ends with 8 well, that's again false because if you look at the cubes of number 2, so 2 cube is 8, so 8 is a perfect cube. Similarly, 12 cube is equal to 1728, so 1728 is also a perfect cube. Similarly, if you look at 42 cube, that is equal to 74088, so this also ends in 8. So any number ending with 2, its perfect cube will end with 8, so perfect cubes can definitely end with 8. The cube of a two-digit number may be a three-digit number. Okay, so let's talk about the two-digit number. So which is the smallest two-digit number that you know? So the smallest two-digit number that you know is 10. So when you cube 10, how much do you get? 10 into 10 into 10, that is 1000. So even for the smallest two digit number, its cube is a four digit number. So cube of a two digit number can never be a three digit number because below 10, you do not have any two digit number. So if 10's cube itself is 1000, which is a four digit number. So for greater two digit numbers, the number of digits will also be more, they will not be less. So this statement is false. The cube of a two-digit number may have seven or more digits. Now let's look at the higher, higher side. So what is the largest two-digit number possible? So the largest two-digit number would be 99. So if you find out the cube of 99, it is 970299, which is a six-digit number. So that means the cube of a two-digit number starts with four digit number up to six digit number. So the cube of a two digit number can be a four digit number, can be a five digit number, can be a six digit number, but not more than that. So therefore this statement is also false. The cube of a single digit number may be a single digit number. Yes, very much possible. If you look at one, one cube is one. You look at two, two cube is eight. So one is a single digit number. 8 is a single digit number, 2 is also a single digit number. So it is quite possible that cube of a single digit number is also a single digit number. 
Question number two. You are told that 1, 3, 3, 1 is a perfect cube. Can you guess without factorization what is its cube root? So obviously if you are asked not to factorize, you will go with the estimation method. So let's look at it step by step. Step one, take the number, find its units digit, it's one. So start from this side and divide it into groups of three. So this is your group one, which has three, three, one. And this is your group two, which has only one because there's nothing more on this side. Okay, so in step two, we focus on group one, which is three, three, one. And what is the units digit? Unit digit is one. And cube of one always ends with one. So therefore, when you talk about cube root of one, three, three, one, the results units digit would be one. Okay, in step three, we focus on group two. So here group two is one. So we will have to find out a perfect cube which is less than or equal to 1. So we know that 1 cube is equal to 1. So 1 is the perfect cube which is equal to 1. And what is its units digit? Its units digit is 1. So therefore 1 will become the tens digit. So cube root of 1, 3, 3, 1 is equal to 11. So in this fashion we can find cube, cube root by estimation method. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on cubes and cube roots would have helped you. So practice more, gain more confidence. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.